Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. I am here with you today, Geeky Sparkles. Um, Neon is not here. No, we're not getting divorced. We're just very, very busy. Um, today we're going to talk about Willow. Because remember we talked about Willow being canceled a few days ago. That was what the reports were. Well, now John Kasdan is coming out to clarify said reports by saying that maybe someday, maybe possibly, in a year, maybe, we might get more Willow, so technically it's not canceled, even though they pretty much let all the cast members go to work on their projects and everything else. But good news, someday, maybe, we might get more Willow, a Willow season two. Um, you can't make this up. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. We are almost to 300,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much. Um, make sure you're still subscribed, because YouTube being YouTube, they keep unsubscribing people. Um, and we're gonna talk about this. All the news outlets are running with it. I saw the Mary Sue was all over it and everything else. But Deadline was one of the ones to call it out first and saying that it was canceled. And a lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of different news outlets were talking about it. A lot of YouTubers were talking about it. Um, and they said the series won't continue, but Willow is still part of the Lucasfilm library. Well, then a couple days after that, here comes John Kasdan. Okay, he's gonna correct us and clarify the situation. Okay, here's what he said. He's the writer, producer, I think he produced it too. Here's what he said. Dear Willow supporters and vocal opposition, you guys get in here too. Hey John, I appreciate the inclusion. That's very cool. Writing to you today, one, preposterously, criminally, and immeasurably lucky fool. The outpouring of kind words, support and passion for a shabby, idiosyncratic little show has been nothing short of mind-blowing and profoundly moving. Not just for me, but for everyone who worked their butts off on it. Translation, hey, look, I'm a big deal. We all worked on this show. It was really good. So if you complain about it, you're somehow mocking the people who worked hard on it. Okay, I'm translating for you. Um, we're all inexpressibly grateful and thrilled that you enjoyed watching it almost as much as we enjoyed making it. Thanks, John. Didn't, didn't make it past a couple episodes. Even those of you who didn't enjoy it, yet stuck with it for eight hours to critique each episode and let us know exactly which choices you weren't a fan of, didn't even make it past two. That, that too is of its own incredibly specific form of flattery, and we appreciate it. Translation, John's being a little sarcastic douche knuckle. Okay, just in case you didn't know. If you stuck around for eight episodes to critique it, neener, neener. yeah, he's being an asshole. Translation. As a lifelong devotee of Deadline Hollywood, I would also, also appreciate that punchy headlines drive clicks. So I understand how Willow canceled after one season on Disney Plus is fun and juicy. Again, sarcastic. However, as I'm nearly certain, I had more conversations about this in the last couple of weeks than Nelly and Driva, who, of whom I remain an ardent fan. I feel very confident that if asked, neither I nor the folks at Lucasfilm would or, would or have actually characterized it quite that way. We're going to talk around the issue and make it seem like it's better than it actually is. The issue, what's coming down to is Willow's not coming for season two on Disney Plus at this time. Maybe, possibly, maybe, if they need more content and they decide to turn the spend back on, you might get a Willow season two. But instead of just admitting that maybe it didn't go over well with the fans, we're going to shame people who, you know, didn't like it. And now we're going to try to circle around in very um, wordy ways of how you're all full of shit and there's going to be more Willow, even though there probably isn't. At least not for a year or more, because, you know. So let's go on. Um, the truth is less splashy. But here it is. A decision was made last week to release our main cast for our other series opportunities that may arise for them in the coming year. You don't release your casts if you're going to be doing more right now. Plus, you, you, you didn't have a season two already in development. You're making it sound like, well, they released until we make a season two. Well, usually that's how it goes. I mean, if you don't even have it written yet, you can't expect the people to pass on their projects and sit on, you know, on their thumbs for, you know, years until you get around to it. So, you know, that, that's, that's the, the clarification. With all the TV and movies in production around the world, it feels unfair to limit an actor's availability without a clear sense of when you're going to need them again. But don't worry, guys. We're still getting more Willow. He says so. It's further trivialized by the simple reality that the scripts we've been working on require just as many actors from our first season with whom no such contractual hold exists. You don't have scripts. 
and you don't you don't want to hold your actors nor you can you hold your actors and they might want to go do work that they get paid for instead of sitting around that's what that means Nothing prevented Annabelle Davis, for example, from ta taking another show, but you better believe Mims appears in every single volume two chapter. Okay, good, I guess. Um, so wait, you're saying it's written. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You just got done saying that you don't have things written and it's not in production. Um, so they, they're going to release them to do other things, but now you're saying that she's in every single volume two chapter. How can you know that if you didn't already have it written? Sounds to me like it is written, but there are no plans to move forward with Willow season two at this point in time. That You're talking in circles here, John. If you're asking what this means for you as a viewer or me as the creator, here's what I think it means. No, here's what it means. Here's what I think it means. Due to forces much larger and more intricate than I would ever pretend to fully understand, production of streaming shows is slowing down across the entire industry, and Willow won't resume filming in the next 12 months. Might not resume filming after 12 months. Let's talk in circles. Yeah, it's amazing how this works. Streaming is kind of going down the tube. People, there's too many. People have too much competition, and they all can't stay propped up. So it's going to start being that everybody's eating each other at this point in time. A lot of shows um, are not making money, and it's costing these streaming services a lot of money to produce them. So what they're going to do is they're going to stick with the shows that make money and the shows that have people coming back to tune in. And those are the ones they're going to probably make more of. The fact that they're not pushing ahead on Willow, which for the season two that you claim you, or I'm sorry, volume two, that you claim you already have written, tells me more than your post does. But here's what's equally true. With the enthusiastic and wavering support of Lucasfilm and Disney, we've developed and written what we hope is a brain-melting fun, richer, darker, and better volume two, which builds on the characters and stories of the first eight chapters. Again, so you have it written. It's already ready to go, but you released all the actors to go take on other projects because there are no plans for producing Willow Volume 2, at least in the next 12 months. It's probably a case of, we'll come back to it and see if we have the money for it or the space for it. But it isn't, um, you don't let people go from a contract if you have it written and we're ready to go. They only get gone if they're going to cancel it. That's what cancel is, cancellation means. They're maybe shelving it for a bit, but it's still technically canceled until they decide to bring it back. I mean, it's just going to sit in, in production hell otherwise. I mean, so, so I guess we could say Willow Volume 2 is in production hell for at least 12 months, most likely longer. Because that's much better than saying it's canceled, right? Okay. Okay, John. So then he goes on. Oh, this is like a three-part manifesto here i'd expect nothing less volume two is all about courage desire acceptance yeah we got that and the comedy and beauty to be found in even the darkest places and moments it's about the enemies we must inevitably confront both without and often far more insidiously from within but above all it's about the if i can't even read this it's too small ineffable and enduring magic of friendship I am confident when I speak for everyone involved, when I say that we'd all like nothing more than to deliver volume two on the scale expected and demanded by the story we're telling. Well, hopefully you have better wardrobe. Are we going into pre-production? Not right now. <laughs> I can't. We're not canceled. We're just not doing anything else with it. Oh my God. Does that mean we're never gonna make it? Absolutely not. This is a very wordy way of saying, well, we're not doing production. We have volume two written. They let the cast go. So, oh, well, we're fucked. Okay. I just, I can't. Three weeks ago, we got a third season of Party Down 13 years after season two. Between seasons two and three of Atlanta, of Atlanta four years. Curb Your Enthusiasm season eight and nine had a hiatus of six years. Not to mention this little movie I love called Willow that didn't get its well-deserved sequel for 35 years. So, is it in pre-production? No. Does it mean we're never going to make it? No, because, you know, other shows took up to 13 years for a season two. Okay. Perhaps the one thing Hollywood has consistently been great at is bullshit, as evidenced by John here, over its entire history is servicing the appetites, no matter how obscure of its consumers. And I have total confidence that if an, if an appetite for more Willow persists, Disney Lucasfilm and this amazing cast and crew will satisfy it. I don't think people have an appetite for Willow. It did not do well. 
A lot of people who were longtime fans of Willow didn't like it. I mean, are there fans of Will the new show? Yes. Are you allowed to like it? Yeah, you're more than allowed to like it. I mean, it's not my cup of tea. I tried watching some of it. I just couldn't. I found it boring. I found the characters insufferable. I just didn't like it. But I know there's a lot of people that did. Mostly shippers. But there are a lot of people that did. Um, do I think there's enough demand for this show and pent up demand and, and longing for this show? No. And I don't need a three paragraph wordy bullshit essay explaining why. I'm just going to translate his wordy bullshit essay. Um, it is now the best moment to campaign and demand more. I don't really think so, which tells me that they're not going to listen anyway. I recommend preserving your outrage for the many real outrages in the world. Then why didn't you write a three paragraph manifesto, well, more paragraph, three page manifesto about the other outrages in the world, John? No, don't campaign now, guys, because they're not going to listen to it because they already canceled it. We're not canceled. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. That's what that means. This is like when we had the the She-Ra, the, the, the Princesses of Power show, and we pointed out that it, they, it was done. They were done with it. Now, the net last season hadn't come out yet, but the, we said, hey, they're done. They already are out looking for new jobs. They already got, you know, got rid of everyone. It's been canceled. It's not going past that season. Oh, no, no. How dare you? That's not true. There's another season. Ha, 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 you're wrong. They filmed the other season before they got rid of everyone. It was canceled, but that one hadn't come out yet. It doesn't mean that it wasn't going to come out yet. It just means that it's canceled. This is canceled. That's what this means. There's no more coming out. They're already saying, Do you, should you go out and demand that Disney give you more? I don't think so, because they're not going to listen. They're not going to hear it. They've already decided. It's been decided. Okay, maybe you should spend some time for the real outrages in the world. Um, the entertainment industry is in a moment of radical global upheaval. The train ahead is unknown. But do I think enthusiasm for the show will still be meaningful a year from now or two or 13? Definitely. As are all the people you recommend Willow to that you can that can enjoy it whenever they want. But declaring it dead in the culture in the culture in which we now live feels Frankly, as anachronistic as, I don't know, putting a Soundgarden cover on a fantasy show. Oh my God, dude. I'm using big words so you know how much smarter I am than you and I'm talking in circles. I'm not canceled. I choose, my cancellation chooses to identify as an indefinite postponement. As for me personally, I've been working on Willow for nearly five years. I've had the privilege of playing in the sandboxes built by George Lucas. They're now cat boxes. And stewarded with deepest care and love by Kathy Kennedy. Oh, my God. For nine years. Now I definitely know it's a cat box. If you hated the castles I built or helped build in those sandboxes, this news should come as a tremendous relief and welcome respite. If you've enjoyed some of it and want more, I promise you that whatever I have to offer will only be cooler, funnier, and more exciting for the momentary break I'm now afforded. They canceled your show. John. Says, I'm, 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 <laughs> they didn't break up with me. We're just on a break. I swear. I know the fandom can be divisive. Well, not as divisive as bullshit like this, John. I know sometimes people say mean things, but I gotta tell you from deep inside, like a fart, that has not been my experience at all. I love all you guys, and I relate and identify with every single person who is passionate about Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and Willow. You relate and identify with people who, who love it because you do. And, you know, I mean, I do appreciate these try. He's like, he's saying he's trying to be inclusive of people who don't like it by also being insulting to people who don't like it. I mean, I get it. I get being bitter. You're allowed to be bitter, John. It's okay. I mean, people understand that. Even if we crave slightly different things from them, people just want it to feel like it should. I think an open dialogue and fan involvement only enriches these worlds as they grow larger, fuller, and more inclusive. Now, here's the problem, John. Here's a problem I found as a woman, okay? You're not allowed to correct me because I'm a woman. Um, here's the problem I found, John. It's not more um, inclusive, larger, and fuller. What happens is it just shifts to a different group. And that group is actually less inclusive than the original group. Because when I was younger, um, 
it wasn't like you were not allowed to be part of these clubs. Like you, you were allowed to anybody could go if they wanted to watch it. People were genuinely excited when I showed up at the Star Wars, you know, re-releases. I was like the second person, first person, second person in line. I was there with another friend of mine who was a girl, and it was mostly guys, and they were thrilled to death that we were there. Like I didn't feel like we were excluded in any way. However, when the new Star Wars movies came out, the Disney Star sequel trilogy came out, what I found was when I questioned things or didn't like things, I didn't care for Ray. I think Ray had a great start. And I think about a third away through the film that that she just became more of a Mary Sue than Ray, than she could have been. And I said that, not the men I knew. They were like, oh yeah, this is, you know, a new hope all over again. This is great. I said that. And I was the only girl who said it in my group. But immediately it was, well, you're a misogynist if you don't like Ray. Last Jedi. I was like, what the hell is this? And I came in being like, okay, we're getting new stuff this time. So I'm open to it. I'm excited. It's not a new hope all over again. I like, I really like Finn quite a bit. I really like um, Oscar Isaac's Poe quite a bit. And I'm like, I can't wait to see where these go. And I'm hoping that we get like the camaraderie and the group that we used to have with Star Wars. And then it didn't go that way. And we had Rose Tico and Holdo. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? They're sitting there trying, we're we're having strong female characters. And the only way that they're strong is they have to lower the male characters around them to make sure you understand that they're better and, and smarter. And they have to teach these men. And I was kind of insulted because as a woman, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see characters lower just to be you know so i can be elevated like i want to i want to steel sharp and steel bitch i want to be on the same playing field the same level i don't want to be um you know somehow put on a pedestal or, or you're lowered unfairly just to you know give me handicapped in some way handicapped being like golf handicap um just to elevate other characters i think that's kind of shit and the thing is if you said so if you said you didn't like that you were labeled all kinds of stuff. I got called names constantly. I got called internalized misogynist. I got called vulgar female anatomy terms in Spanish by a guy trying to tell me that um, I was misogynistic. That was my favorite. Um, while I would love for it to be, you know, what what he wants it to be, what he claims it is, it's larger, fuller, and more inclusive. Um, this argument that it, that it was never inclusive is unfair and untrue. Um, it, it, they keep wanting, it's like they have a new table, they have a club and they keep saying, you need to make room for us. So you make room for them. And you're like, yes, please come play. We would love to have you. And we see this a lot in tabletop. And after they get in there, then they start nitpicking everything and then shoving you away from the table and then telling you that you're, you're the horrible person who kept them out as they're literally gatekeeping everything. And you let them in in the first place. But now they're telling the minorities and the people they're supposed to be inclusive of that their opinion doesn't count or they literally step over you and marginalize you twice and those of you who are aren't straight white and male know what i'm talking about you know if you agree with them you're part of the club and you're included down with them but if you disagree or you you point out an issue um then they step over you and act like you're not there and then you're like you're marginalized yet again but it's okay when they do it and that's the problem i think most people would be okay with larger and fuller and more inclusive but that would be that would mean that you're including everyone but you're not it's just harder gatekeeping in the name of inclusivity and that's where there is a problem like i didn't have problem like your your knight character jade i actually didn't mind her i had thought she was okay the princess however was a complete bitch and i couldn't stand her sorry i found her unlikable and i get that's part of her you know character but i found her unlikable and i couldn't watch anymore the print you know um laura dannon i was like what the fuck? I mean, it's just like she she doesn't know who she is now, and she's a baby, and they did it for her in protection, but she doesn't know who she is, and now she's gonna keep trying to do stuff. And after she's kidnapped, the plant sprouts and all this other crap. And I just I just didn't care enough to watch it. I'm probably your target demographic, and I didn't care enough to watch it. Okay. Anyway, I had the best job in the world. I, you know, I agree. That's a pretty good job. I'll agree with I'll agree with you there, John. Um, and if you think I don't deserve it, you're absolutely right. Well, I'll give him that too, dude. I, I appreciate the humility, even though I don't think it's real. Um, no one deserves to have this much fun at work. I know I I have the same, I have the same problem, John. I love everyone. I've had the tremendous good fortune to collaborate with these past nine years. Okay, good. And I couldn't be more excited for what lies ahead, which we don't know what that is. Ignore the bird, follow the river. I promise I'll take you where you need to go, John. 
And then she sent a picture of volume one, two, and three. So apparently he had it planned for three volumes of Willow. It's not happening. And instead of just admitting defeat, and it, it basically, in a nutshell, it's Disney is done with it for now. They don't want to hear about bringing it back. It's already been decided. John doesn't have a say in it. It's shelved. It's so much so done. They let everybody out of their, you know, release them from any other um, volume or, or, you know, season and let them go work on other projects that they could be in contracts with there for years and it would take forever to get them all back together again because the, the, maybe possibly, maybe someday in the next like year to 13 years, we might get volume two. So it's technically not canceled. No, John, um, I understand you live in a fantasy world because that's your job, but it is what it is. And it might come back. Yeah, you're right. It might. But it doesn't look too promising right now. And the numbers weren't good enough to keep it. I'm sorry. It could just be a number of things, including maybe people are over Willow. I think people are over Disney. They're over Disney's stewardship of a classic IP like Willow. It might have had anything to do with you. But it is what it is. And trying to lie to people and like spin spin yarns and tales about you know the the whole way around about what actually happened isn't really helping you. Everybody announces it's done instead of just saying yeah it sucks, but for now it's done. It might come back. We'll see. You three pages, three pages of BS, John. I guess you get paid by the word. Anyway, it, it is what it is. What do you guys think? Comment and let us know. Please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.